Hey, Snackers, this is Kareem Iskander. Hey, everyone, Matt DiNapoli here. Welcome to episode 195 of Snackman. On this episode, we have our good friend Ryan Rose joining us today. And usually when he joins us, there's going to be a big splash coming. So, um, Ryan, if you don't mind uh, introducing yourself to the newbies, and then we'll jump right into it. Oh, it's great to be back. Thank you both so much, uh, Matt and Kareem. It's always a pleasure to be on the show. I'm Ryan Rose. I'm the head of skills and certification product management for Learn with Cisco. Uh, that means that uh, my team uh, gets to work on a lot of fun stuff, including CCNA, CCNP, CCIE, and all of the training that's inside of Cisco U. Ryan, it's great to have you here. Uh, you had a lot of CCs at the beginning of all those certifications that you were talking about, but um, I believe you're here to talk about some certifications that are going to have AI in front of them. Um, so can you introduce us to some of those new uh, certifications and what we can expect from them? Yeah, I, I feel like this is like the best show to come on and talk about this because the three of us worked on what I think is the first non-CC certification uh, five years ago. <laughs> And uh, so this is uh, this is a, a brand new thing that's going to be inside of our certification portfolio. We've been talking to our customers and our partners and really just members of our community. And, you know, I, I, I know that everyone is talking about AI and everyone is saying, you know, AI is going to change everything and it's going to change jobs. And what we wanted to do, kind of taking that information from our community, taking it from our CCIEs is build a brand new program, training and skill validation that would allow anybody to be able to use AI to gain efficiency in their jobs, to be able to get all of this operational advancement that, that everyone's looking for, but to learn how to do that safely, securely, and effectively. We will now have a brand new AI practitioner certification path. What is really cool is it will is built of two different parts. The first part is really aimed at business professionals, people that are like program managers, people that are business architects, uh, business operations managers, really anybody that's just looking to learn how they can use AI safely every single day to be able to do their jobs, to be able to get all those gains that everyone keeps talking about, really a map from here to there on how to really use AI in the workplace, that is going to be a brand new training uh, uh, plan that we have on Cisco U. Uh, it's called the Cisco AI Business Practitioner Learning Path. In fact, an early version of that course is available at no cost right now on u.cisco.com. Uh, and that is paired with a second learning path, which is called the AI Technical Practitioner. Now that learning path is aimed at people who are semi-technical, who are uh, maybe OT people doing IT work. Maybe it's professionals that are starting to wanna move into doing IT work or, or their NOC or their SOC adjacent. And they really wanna learn how to use AI to do those jobs. Maybe even it's someone who's on the side of software development. What's really cool is that is a brand new learning path and certification. So two different parts. There's the AI business practitioner, which is a learning path and it earns you a badge. And then there's the AI technical practitioner. And that is a learning path that guides you to a certification. And just like CCNA or CCNP or CCIE, this is a Cisco certification. So you're gonna be able to validate your skills, not just build them, but show everybody that you're working with that you have these skills inside of your toolbox validated by Cisco. This is really exciting news, Ryan. I know everybody's talking about AI. Us coming out with this is just, fortifies that the importance of AI in the on the job today. I'm super excited about this. I saw the the content and you know helped the team with some of the content. Um can you talk a little bit it looks amazing by the way. Uh, snackers if go check out the free uh the free courses that are on Cisco U. I know that I usually say I'll go check that out and then I don't. <laughs> I'm definitely going to check this out. <laughs> well, what's what's great is is that so we know that our community's been really like passionate about this and Kareem to you know you're asking about those details. The the mo one of the most popular things that we have had in fact 
the most popular thing that we have on Cisco U right now is all of our AI training. So we had a course called AI Infrastructure Essentials. This was really aimed at a technical audience. And it was from the time that it launched um, last February through the end of that fiscal year, it was the most popular course on Cisco U beating out even Cis uh, uh, CCNA. Like that's how many people are after these skills. What's more, Kareem, Kareem built a uh, course called uh, Generative AI and LLMs for the Network Engineer. And this was our very first foray into that space. In fact, it was a tutorial that earned you a badge AI for networking. That is really like the heart of what got us rolling is we saw all these people on Cisco U engaging with our course material. We saw all of these people starting. We, we just, for example, got our first CCDE AI infrastructure. Like we have all of these people, like it's kind of critical mass of AI skills, but its roots really start with that tutorial from Kareem, where we had a thousands and thousands and thousands of people worldwide go and take that tutorial to build AI for networking skills. And we thought, you know what, we can, we can take it a step further. We can have this business path that is really AI for everyone. Anyone, technical roles, semi-technical roles, non-technical roles. You could be an accountant. You could be anybody in the whole wide world saying, I just want to know how to use AI correctly and I want to use it in my everyday. And I and I want something more than just like flash and pizzazz or like little bits of videos. I want stuff that's going to teach me practically how to use AI in my job role. That's why we built that AI business practitioner path and to then have a badge connected to it. But for all of those technical individuals that's why we built that technical path too and ryan uh, we got to highlight the the scenario base so this was built the content the training based on different scenarios you are in marketing you're trying to accomplish x y and z what are the different things that you can do and how could you streamline your operation with ai so I think that that's to me was very engaging. Even though I knew all the stuff, the scenarios, the prompts that were giving you the the here's a prompt, go try it out, do it, and makes you think about how you can implement similar use cases on your end. I think this is the kind of the highlight of that AI biz for me. Um, so really, really well done and designed there with the, from uh, the product management team. I completely agree. I, I feel like this is um a best of breed of the spirits of all of our teams. <laughs> you know, whether it was DevNet or it was Cisco U, we've always been focused on building practical skills. I mean, I remember when I made my first API call uh, working with uh, Matt Thinopoli with the Deck of Cards API. <laughs> you build these skills by doing. And um, uh, Kareem, I, I know that you know this, so much of our training is moving towards practical skills towards being able to do a job or 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 build from a use case or achieve an outcome. You know, it's great that we can teach you theory, but we really want to focus in on getting like how this works practically for you in your jobs, in your job roles. So that training is filled with real world examples of how you can use AI across a number of business roles, across a number of uh, AI ICT consortium roles, which is run by Fran, the head of uh, our 3P organization here at Cisco, um, which is a consortium of a number of leading uh, IT companies that have all identified important roles from uh, non-technical to super technical roles. So uh, all of that training is really built not just on what is AI, you know, let's talk about an LLM or what's RAG, but rather using your marketing example, Kareem, I'm a person in marketing. I need to build this creative content to achieve this goal. Um, here are the steps that you can go through. Here are the tools that are available. I really think that one of the hardest things to do is, is to really show how AI works fundamentally. Uh, and we do so typically in like four ways. Uh, the very first thing that we try to do is, is we work with you on, can, you know, that when you're approaching AI, ask yourself four questions. The first is, can AI solve this? If the answer is yes, you go to the second question. Um, which AI should I use? Um, uh, there's a number of different AI tools. Not all of them are the same. Some things that work best for Claude is something that isn't going to work maybe as well for ChatGPT5. Third, when you're talking about when you get 
past, you know, can this be solved by AI? Which AI should I use? The third thing is, is that prompt. What's the right way to ask for what I want? Most people start here and that's why they fail. Um, uh, when in reality, you have to do those first two parts. And then the fourth is the most important. It's human discernment. Did what I get back from AI meet what I wanted? And is it correct? Those four steps are the heart of all of our training. And we are building on that concept the entire time for that business practitioner. Uh, and really even for the technical practitioner as well. If you can learn to master those four steps, really like it's boundless what you can learn with AI. Ryan, unfortunately, we are running out of time here. Um, I did want to note um, that, you know, Cisco in general and specifically learn uh, learn with Cisco, we've always done a good job um, with with these practical certifications. And the really the striking part of all of this is how quickly we've gotten to this point of needing to identify um, not just specializations, but certifications as well. You, you know, as well as I do, it took us about five years to get to the point where we were talking about automation on a certification layer, but we were putting in existing technologies into existing technologies. Um, the ubiquity now that we see in the use of uh, generative AI tools within our day-to-day our -day, um, engagements really makes this absolutely necessary. And I'm glad to see that Cisco and Learn with Cisco are at the forefront of bringing um, bringing that together and consolidating the learning path, because I think that's where people are struggling the most right now is where to where to start. <laughs> and I think for uh, for at least our audience, uh, we're giving them that opportunity and hoping hoping it expands beyond uh, people who would traditionally see Cisco as an opportunity for that technical learning in a space that, you know, isn't isn't networking necessarily. Um, so that part is really exciting uh, to see. And I, I, I actually am very much going to be going through uh, the biz one first um, and then see if it's worth uh, charging my organization back to do the technical practitioner one. But I, I really appreciate the guys, the work that you guys have done on this. Right on. Yeah, I'm going to pull the report and, and hold you to it, Matt, this time. <laughs> Not like the other time. Not like the other times. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, I will. I'm happy to endorse it. <laughs> Ryan, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, snackers, check out the AI Biz course today um, and keep an eye out for the technical practitioner course coming very shortly thereafter. Actually, before we let you go, Ryan, can you give us some dates? Yeah. So the early access version of the technical of the business practitioner is available now. So you can go um, on u.cisco.com. And in fact, because we're releasing this content like software, um, as new parts of that course become available, you actually see see it in uh, Cisco U. In early November, uh, we will be releasing the entire course with the badge um, that's slated for the first half of November. And so you can go and take the, by then the full course will be available and you can also earn the AI business practitioner badge. And then in the first week of December, the entire technical practitioner learning path and certification will be available. So not only can you build those technical skills, you can also take the exam to certify them and become some of the very first people to take and earn this brand new Cisco certification. All right, set your calendar, Snackers, and we'll see you guys next week. Thanks, Ryan, and thank you, Snackers. Hey, thank you. Bye, everybody.